welcome back to some more... Man, I spun for a long time that time. <laughs> more sword and shield. Oh, didn't even... I, okay, that was just me running in circles for the sake of running in circles, because it ha it's a habit I have in games when I'm not doing anything important. <laughs> I didn't even mean to spin. But yeah, so last time we had all the super awesome max raids with my girlfriend, and now we're heading back towards the uh, seventh gym. Which... Gonna need to figure out something to do with that. <laughs> but before that, what am I missing? Let's play the Lotto! And I probably should get all my Pokémon back from their jobs. Probably should have gotten the Pokémon back from the jobs before playing the Lotto? Nah, I don't know. My odds are pretty much zero anyway. I'm more than happy to entertain you, Rayquaza, so... That was good timing. And holy, 65 total months and a 59 month streak. So that is almost a five year streak and almost five and a half total years, holy. Holy crap. <laughs> that is insane. All right, let's grab all these guys back. Is there a way to skip the animations on this? There's a lot of, like every stuffle I had went into this, this mission. <laughs> All my Pokemon in my box are going to be, like, actually keeping up with anything worth taking out into the field, because they're getting a lot of experience. Got a Sunstone from that. Yeah, how's everyone doing in Twitch chat today? Oh, that that was so cool. It looked like the Litwick and the Golurk were coming out and they were holding balloons. <laughs> Got a Moonstone... Let's see, what was this one? This was... Dark types? Yeah, I think this was a dark type mission. Although only some of them got it, I don't know. But I am feeling good today. My back is slowly but steadily getting better, so that is always a good thing. That was a steel mission. Got some moonstones. Man, we are getting a lot of the evolution stones. Also, there was a totally a place that I did not even go during uh, when we were running around the wild area. So I think I'm going to just swing, swing over that way real quick because it won't take too long. It's right next to the gate of... What is the name of the city? Hammerlock? Hammerlock. I didn't even pay attention to what I got there. We got a good variety of Pokemon on this one. I like the new Farfetch'd. Like it, it, I definitely like its design a little bit more than the original Farfetch'd. Two revives. Alright, only two more of these to go. Yeah, Lake of Outrage. That was the place I missed. And so I haven't wandered over there yet, but apparently it's got a bunch of different evolution stones, and it's got other TMs and items and stuff on the ground, so. Six grand, damn. Just paying my Pokemon. All of our rock Pokemon. I figure if I get them all back from their jobs at the start of the episode, holy crap, 36,000 experience for all of them? I feel like a lot of these guys need to evolve. Now, can you? do you have to get them a full level to evolve, or can you put just any experience into these guys and they'll evolve? Probably a full level, because I think that's how Pokemon works. Alright, so... We wanted to go... Oh, cool! There's actually a flight path that takes me out into the field rather than having to go into the town and go out. Full level? Alright. Now, luckily, we can speed this whole process up. First off, curry! So I want to get that curry dex, so I want to make sure I have six of every ingredient. Oop, did I check the package curry? Oh, I got seven of that. All right, must have found one on the ground. And you are the quick ball guy, but I have 69 quick balls, so sweet. And what mysterious treasure have you found for me? 
two small candies. I'm actually starting to think these candies are not really worth the 100 watts. But it's fine. It's cling clang. Part of me really wants to just grind through the rest of the Pokedex to get the shiny charm, but the other part of me is like, no, we're finishing the gyms and getting to post game first, then we can do that. I don't know what Sandaconda's hidden ability is. 30,000 XP is a lot. 15 is a full level at 60. Holy crap. Yeah, so I'm probably going to have, like... Like, we're, we've been making the joke about the level 100 med, or, uh, Metapod, but, like, honestly, I think it could happen. Alright, that's the angry Chaken. Do you know how to far evolve Farfetch'd into Surfetch'd? Um... I am not aware of it, and I don't mind being spoiled on evolution methods, because we have a... Oh, that's the one thing we did get. Um, did I, what did I need that for? I think it was for my ground coverage. I think we're switching Boofer out for... Uh, oh, I didn't mean to set up camp. We are going to switch Boofer out for the Coffin Pokemon, so we'd have Ghost-type and Ground-type coverage. So let's just grab... Put that back in my bag. Let's make that swap now so we can get used to having our new team. Boofer's done a great job helping us catch things. But we need... What's the Pokemon called? I need to get their name right. Where are they at? I know they came back from a mission. Here they are. Yeah, like Ankh. Uh, what is it? Runigris. They were... Uh, they had some interesting... Uh, Evolution method being at least 49 HP, you couldn't revive them to 1 HP, and you had to walk under the arch in this area. And we're going to stuff them full of uh, EXP candies to get them leveled up and caught up. How far behind are the episodes? Oh god, way far behind. We're about 20, 25 hours farther in than the... Probably about 20 hours farther in than the YouTube series. But yeah, we never crossed this lake and went over to uh, all the different areas over here. Ooh, we're in a thunderstorm. That's new. <gasps> Lapras! I don't want to catch it, but I'm sure they're not too, super rare. Just wait till chat yells at me for them being super, super rare. Alright, so let's see. Three crits in a single fight. Okay, I was going to say, you stuff them full of dire hits give them, like, Night Slash or something like that. And then use the... What is it? The Focus Lens? There's one of the lenses or something that I know ups the critical hit rate as well. Is it Zoom Lens? But I, I like that. Like, that's an in-battle requirement. You know. Ooh, I got leftovers again. And Shadow Claw. Well, that is actually super useful because that would be a great move to put on Runicus. Or just give Farfetch the leak. Oh. Oh, it already knows the move, but Spesh could learn it. But Spesh doesn't really need ghost type coverage because it's already Dark Fairy, so. What do you have? Let's take a look at you and learn what you are. So you have Wandering Spirit, exchanges ability with a Pokemon that moves, that hits with a move that makes direct contact. And you are a down special attack, up special defense, which is one of your strong suits. So that's a solid, that's like a not a bad nature. You're slow as crap. All right, you've got Slam, you've got Crafty Shield, which is eh. You've got Hex and you've got Shadow Claw. Okay, you could really use some better moves. But yeah, I think I have like 10 million of those leaks because there's a big rock up on the area next to the sandy area over here that just has a ton of them. I think it's a curry ingredient. I don't know what tab those are under. That's only berries. Yeah, large leak. 
That far-fetched like is on yeah. Oh yeah, yes. I'm definitely gonna be fixing up my moves on the uh, Runigris. No worries there. Surfetch is one of the only Pokemon that can be fully evolved at level one. Huh. Interesting. Oh, it's a different leak. It's just called leak. Oh. I don't think I have one of those. Alright, did I miss any other held items over here? Nope. Out here. Yeah. I hate the turbo boost because you're like, I can't stop. Ah, okay, it's a 5% chance of getting one from a far fetched. Alright, well, we'll deal with that when we deal with that. What do we got? Focus Sash. Nice, because I think we broke one. Oh, actual wild Noivern. That's wild. Oh, now I remember why I knew I, we hadn't come here yet. Okay, so apparently the uh, each one of these pillars has an evolution stone, but it only spawns one of them. Because I remember coming over here realizing, oh crap, there's nothing here. But I saw them as sparkles on the ground, and so I grabbed them figuring they would respawn, but I noticed all these Pokeballs were here, so. The hell is that Pokemon? Oh shit, that's a Rotom! Yeah, no, we're, we're catching a Rotom. Oh, very strong-looking Rotom. Oh, man. Oh, they're 55. We gotta go beat one thing. Stop the boost early. Take your thumb off the stick. Oh, I use the beep. Oh, if you just stay still or something. I think it's because it's lightning. A thunderstorm that we get the Rotom, so I'm gonna go maybe swing over and oh Jesus, they're like okay, it's hunting me down now. Yeah, I'm gonna go finish that next gym because that'll get me 55 capture power, and then I'm gonna come back here for Rotom and get a ton of Rotom. That one's 57. They're stronger than that. Like there's like three of them over there. Oh my god, everything's attacking me. Is the 2% spawn the Rotom, or...? Or was it the, like... It, it was like a little spike... Okay, you're gonna get on my nerves, sir. Oh, time to get people some experience. Oh, you little piece of crap using Roost. I don't know if it worked, though, because their HP was full. And then a Boom Burst. Hurricane? Yeah, that doesn't really bother me much. Hurts a lot, but... I don't want to fly out of there. There's still more loot. Oh, the 8th Gen Pseudo is over here? Aww. Oh. I was wondering what it was, and this is what I was trying to look at before I noticed the Rotoms coming at me. There's a freaking Ditto right there. Can I catch the Ditto? This is an amazing... It's a very strong Ditto. It's an amazing area, and I totally don't qualify to be here. Yeah, 56. Ugh. I'm gonna grab my loot and go... I'm gonna grab my loot and go. Ugh. Today's pseudo is either 2% spawn for the second stage or 1% for the first stage in only three weathers. Alright, so it was... I'm just super lucky that I decided to stream today. Glad this one was not, uh... 
not doing uh, any attacking moves on me, so I can get out of here quickly and easily. It's good levels for Ankh. Uh, shift gear. Uh, ooh. ooh, that's a three stage. It's an attack up. And it's speed up. Shift gear is such a good move. Like, that is a three-stage boost. Oh, wait, actually, no. I, I'm, I'm a special attacker. Yeah, I just have a... Jeez, Toxicity just has a huge attack stat for no reason. I'll pass on it because I'm built as a special attacker, but damn. Keto's up to 50. Ooh, Keto wants Brave Bird. Um, I think that's better than Fly. Yeah, that's significantly better than Fly. Now, if you imagine Gear Shift and then uh, whatever the Stored Power or whatever move it is. Ooh, an Assault Vest. Prevents the use of status moves, but raises special defense. That could be handy. Okay. I don't want to be depressed and see awesome rare legendary Pokemon anymore. Or pseudos. So, uh, let us get out of here. Magearna, Kling Klang, and Toxtricity are the only ones that get shift gears. Alright, good to know. I'm well aware Brave Bird has recoil damage, but the recoil is definitely worth it. Like, it does just so ridiculously much damage that it's not an issue to take it. No, oh, apparently Genesect gets it. But yeah, no, I, I noticed it had the recoil, so. It's something to use when needed, but luckily I'm not on a Nuzlocke right now, so I can actually have recoil moves and not be like, well, I'm going to kill my own Pokemon all the time. That's just weird seeing that in the grass. Now the one thing I am gonna do is, because we just came off that route, before I go fight this gym, we never found the camping tent. So I'm gonna go find the camping tent on Route 9. Which... didn't fight this dude? We apparently have not fought this dude yet. I mean, it's a ghost type, yeah, I guess that'd be why. It's just weird seeing him out of the ocean, honestly. Finished all my warm-ups, let's battle with everything we've got. This will also help uh, Ankh get a little bit more uh, level-up power. Stop getting high off your Pokeballs. Oh, please don't be a schooling wishy-washy. It's a schooling wishy-washy, of course. God, these things hit so hard. Oh. I'm 12 levels above it. Alright, not as big of a concern. I think... Besh is holding it, actually. Oh my god, they have a Whale Lord. Uh, Torpedo has it, actually. Thank you for reminding me on that. I am disappoint, game. That is not a to-scale Whale Lord. I have a real urge to Dynamax a Whale Lord. Are they available in like a Gigantamax form? Because that would really be awesome.
See if we can't get lucky and get a poison here. Nice, we got the poison. Yeah, I haven't even started trying to do, like, the whole, like, online raid thing, but it'll be interesting to see if it fills up like that or how it ends up going. Alright, I'll take double money, thank you, Mr. Logan. That's awesome to hear. I'm, I'm really glad that the ad bits are being super lucky for some people. Because they're usually fairly stingy. Oh, yep, we missed some important stuff. What is this? Rock Slide. That's a big TM. Now, is that's the one that gives flinch. Is that the 80 power 100 move, or is it the 100 power 80 move? I always get them confused. I don't remember which one is... It's Rock Throw or Rock Slide. This is the 75 power 90 accuracy. Maybe I'm thinking the other wrong move. That's weird, I don't remember those exact stats before. I don't know what I'm thinking for the other one. Stone Edge, that's the one I was thinking of, the other one. Let's see if I sneak past this guy. Look how it's like walking with its tentacles down the water. Now, do we go this way? Nope, this is the way to the tent. Perfect. Witness the results of the training I did together with Pokemon. Because I just wanted to get this midway through... Um, checkpoint so I can fly to the middle of the route without having to just fly to one of the ends and make my way in. This place is a maze, though. Is there something special about this trainer? Everyone in chat seemed to react to him, so... I will switch to Torpedo. Oh, Reese is close to Re. Okay. Oh, I was wondering if, like, he was, like, you know, a character in the anime or something, or, you know, who knows. Let's see what Liquidation does. That's some solid damage, plus a defense drop. You probably have to just turn your bit badge on in the settings. Anime for this gen has just started to be thought of. Why nobody me could have been like a character from like a different region or something? Because he's not using exclusive Pokemon to this gen or anything. Hey, yeah, I lost. Looks like I need some more training. Hello, officer. Realize that there's a camping king somewhere in the wild area. Have you seen him? Change the color of your tent and reach your curry decks. Alright. Well, I don't mind joining in. Let's get another piece off our curry decks, I guess. Oh, he's got, like, fire-type Pokemon and some fighting-type. Yeah, standard policeman loadout. I really wish it would have notify you what they're throwing into the dish. Um, let's go with... Sweetness. And we'll see what we can get this way. A 
Okay, I think we're getting some spicy. I have no idea. Ooh, I haven't seen that ingredient yet. All right, so just me and the police officer, so I can go a little bit more crazy on this stuff here. Crit's interested in some chili, or curry. There we go, nice healthy flame. Get some good stir going. Get everything nice and mixed up. And put a little love in. I don't think I've ever had proper curry. I think I've had some like curry-like things before, but it looks super good. I am doing well today. Seasoned curry. A little bit of a guitar solo celebration. All right, we'll take three stars, and it's a new curry for the deck, so, you know, anytime I don't have to spend money on the ingredients. The curry cooking in the pot just looks amazing. Yeah, chili is my specialty of when I'm making stuff. So I figured there'd be something shiny back here. Or candy. Max revive. This is a huge maze-like route, like, holy crap. I have not evolved a milk Milkery yet, so I have not started work on the 60-something variants of Milkery. Crit is just so good on this route. Just like one shots everything. That wasn't even a water Pokemon. Oh. Just four moves, that's what it ought to take or something? I mean, you know, more than one Pokemon being at like the seventh route might do you some good. <gasps> we got a double battle. Let's get the team together. You know, Torpedo can actually use the black glasses, so... Actually... I don't think we have Poison Barb or anything to give him more poison power. When dealing with friendship, you always just put six at a time in your party and keep using the bell. Oh, that raises friendship? The little play with the bell thing? That's nice. Jeez, hopefully you uh, recover well, Damien. Alright, no, no, I would like to... Okay, if you guys aren't going to try and double battle me right away, I'm going to grab some loot. Some dive balls. Double battle? This is certainly a beach, it's just too cold. How about you warm up with a Pokemon battle? You think about my secret beach. It's a small, mysterious paradise located to... on the very cool ocean. Come all the way here, so I'll give you a present. Oh, alright. I'll just take free loot rather than fighting. Did I do the salesman in the fighting gym area? The salesman in the fighting gym area. It, what, what, what would be specific? The muscle band? Uh, yeah, I've got a muscle band somewhere. Dive, by any attacks while diving in the water. Oh yeah, a muscle band would actually be a really good thing to give to, uh, Torpedo. Oh, come on, let me in my bag. Oh, I haven't gone to the people who buy the treasures yet. I will go to them as soon as I explore on the other side of the tent.
Because yeah, I haven't done them or the uh, other people today. I was in here for a reason. I was looking for the muscle band. in here somewhere. I know I have- oh, there it is. I know I have one. There we go. That'll buff Torpedo up. Hey, Legend Rock, thank you for dropping the bits. All of the ad bits today. Alright, let's go to the other side, go past the tent, see what's over in that corner, and then I think we have the area pretty much cleaned out. We might be missing one or two items, but I'm sure I'll be back here when I start doing Pokedex completion stuff. Never melt ice, that's really, really useful. Spike myth? Uh huh. What, what's the other directions? There's clearly three signs there. No matter how good you are at fishing, if you try to fish where there are no Pokemon, you won't find anything. Okay, so I think what I did is I came down this side of the water route. So I think, um, yeah, because there's that weird sign. So, cool. I am good here. I now have my fly point in the middle of the route. So let's go fly over to this city, see what our rare treasure is, then move on to our gym. How's Arc series going? Um, Crit and I should be starting Arc back up this week. I think he's feeling better and recovered, or at least, you know, mostly recovered, so... It will be, uh, good to get back to it. Alright, what's the item of the day? Charcoal. I'll buy it. They're not super common, so why not get them? What's tomorrow? Magnet. Yeah, we already got one of those as well. Oh well. What do you want? Pearl string? Done. Like, I find about one pearl string a day from just wandering the wild area, and then this guy keeps buying them. I think this is the third day in the row he's wanted a pearl string, so, uh... Quite lucky for me. Big money. Can't get up there. And then I already grabbed the item from over here. Cool. Alright, it is time for the seventh gym. Um, ow, 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 ow. So, what do we have? Spike Myth, Pokemon Center. I mean, this gym is in an area where there's a lot of ghosts. So I'm assuming... It'd be a ghost-type area. We'll throw Spesh up just to see. Oh, we have never level. We never power leveled Onk because we need to get Onk up there. So uh, let's first get some moves to Onk. Actually, no. We should level them up first, then get moves because they might learn some good ones as they go. So Onk is a ground ghost, which covers two typings that we did not have before, and is very much a physical attacker with bad speed. All right, now that we know, we can give them some candies. And we got a bunch of candies from doing all that experience grinding on the other episodes. So where are those? Let's start by giving him 10 and see where that takes us. 30,000 experience. Alright, not too shabby. Wants to learn the move Curse. Um, let's get rid of Crafty Shield. Because status moves, wasting an entire turn blocking them, not super needed.
Wait, what did I forget? Uh, no, so this week we might not be doing the Thursday, because Thursday is U.S. Thanksgiving, so we might not do it uh, until, um, or we might do it on Wednesday, we might do it later in the week, I'm not entirely certain. Now let's do like seven, see where that takes us. I'll, I'll have an announcement video once I figure it out. Uh, Shadow Ball? No. Because Shadow Ball, let me just double check. I'm 99% sure, yeah, Shadow Ball is bad because we have no special attack. Shadow Claw is the better one. And this should bring us right around 49. Nope. I love how easy it is to level up your Pokemon, though, in this game, when you do, like, other raids and stuff, because, boom, now they're on par with the rest of the team. Alright, now, let's get them some better moves, and then we'll decide on a better held item. So, sort by number... All right, what can Ankh learn? Screech, Rest, Rock Slide. Rock Slide's pretty good coverage. Beats the crap out of Slam. Um, I don't know what it can really learn. Will-O-Wisp, that, that makes some sense. Revenge, probably a fighting type for a ground ghost is probably not a great move to pick up. Wish you could sort these by ones that are just actually damage. Payback, if the user moves after the target, well that's a 100 power dark move, that's a guaranteed 100 power dark move, so that's not bad. I'm not a big fan of curse, because what does curse, what does curse do? Hmm, Hex is also, like, I don't have a way of giving status of afflictions yet on this guy, so... I'm thinking Hex is one to leave. I need to get, like, an Earthquake or something on him. Get a nice physical, uh, thing. Half your health for damage over time of the enemy. Oh, yeah, no, Curse is bad on Ghost types. It's not bad on other Pokemon, though. For a second there, I thought Ankh could learn Acrobatics. Actually, can Scorch... Scorch have something worth replacing for Acrobatics? I'm always holding an item. So I guess it would be a bad idea. I already got Bounce. And this is just like a worse Bounce, yeah. Bulldoze. Alright. That's a physical ground move. I don't think we have a Earthquake TM, but we might have picked... Or a TR, but we might have picked one up. So let's get rid of Curse, and then we can always upgrade later. I love the fact that TMs aren't something you have to conserve or pick to what to use them on anymore. Still don't have anything that can learn False Swipe. Um, you swings about every round violently to inflict power and everything in the vicinity. No, I definitely think Payback is the better one there. Toxic Spikes. That wouldn't have been a bad combo, go Toxic Spikes Hex. I mean, Acrobatic steals double damage if you aren't holding anything, but I like having the uh, Charcoal on to Superpower, because whenever I switch into Scorch, I'm only using him for the Fire Blast, so. I only have one Toxic Spikes one, so I might want to wait on that, because I'm going to maybe use a Toxic Spiker later on. Energy Ball would get me some coverage against a Water type. Nope, that's a special move. Never mind. Sledge Wave special. Drill Run. Cannot learn. Can't learn high horsepower. Oh, come on. All right, well. I think that's pretty good so far. So let's see. We've got a Rock move. A ground move, a dark move, and a ghost move. It's not too bad. 
I think we're decently spread out there. And let's probably give you... Uh, is there an item that gives increased ghost-type damage? Oop, no, I don't want to restore. I want to use the held item. Because, yeah, black glasses probably... Actually, black glasses might not be bad. Let's see what else we got. So we could power up the ground type move. Um, slightly boost the power of super effective moves. Black sludge is for poison. Cleanse tag, that's not the ghost type thing. I think it's spell tag. Yeah. Alright. Well, I think Gonk is at least now functional on the team, should we fight things that need him. Yeah, I don't know where I got the normal gem from. I think it might have been from the digger couple in the, uh, the uh, wild area. Oh, is Ankh a good tank for leftovers? I think I have a bunch of leftovers. And yeah, that would actually be better. Constant healing is very good. I have a bunch of leftovers, yeah. Because I've been shaking all the berry trees once a day, so you get one of them, like, every other day or so. So we got lots of leftovers. I say probably could give Scorch a leftovers as well. Like, honestly, like, I don't feel like the 20% the, the damage is nice, but the leftovers just makes your whole team last a long time. Torpedo already does a ton of damage. Actually, no, Torpedo would be bad, because Torpedo has a low HP number, so damage is better on Torpedo. So let's give Scorch the leftovers, I think, as well. Hello, Green. Doing well today. And then is Black Sludge better? Actually, yeah, the Pyro Ball. I always have trouble deciding whether I want to do a damage boost item or not, but the Pyro Ball is a really potent move. And Charcoal's down the bottom. Yeah. All right, I think we're good there. Let's go in here, we'll do a save, and then we're gonna hit the gym. Sorry it took like 45 minutes into this episode in order to hit the gym when we could have started immediately with it, but we didn't fully explore that last route, we just kind of stumbled our way through. So let's see, 50% special defense boost, can't use any status moves for the assault vest. You know, I could give that to Ankh. Because, I mean, I only have, I think I only actually have 129 HP, so Leftovers is kind of bad. Whereas I could boost my special defense to, like, a hundred, what would it even be? It would be almost 200 special defense. And I have no special status moves, so. Yeah, let's Assault Vest Onk and make it the God Tank. There we go. So if we ever need someone to take a hit for us on a switch, we can switch into Onk. Alright, let's get this gym challenge rolling. Welcome to Spike Myth Kid. Hope you're ready for the gym mission. Hold on, mate. You're going to take on the gym mission. You better change into your uniform. Looking for the gym leader? She's straight ahead from here. Alright, sounds good. Can I read any of these signs or anything to do here? Read the graffiti, paint some graffiti. Oh, oh. Uh, I'm, 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 I'm behind the fence, I'm on the sidewalk. I'm, I can't challenge you, I'm sorry. You wanna get past me, but I don't want that. Basically, it's a battle between our desires. All right, the team yell is the gym? Or are they just hassling me inside the gym challenge? All 
Alright, hello Linoon and your 4x weakness to things. Have a brick break. They're part of the gym? That's kind of fun. I like that. Oh. Seriously, I'm at the seventh gym. Can I please stop having trainers with one Pokemon? I don't wanna I don't wanna let you through, that's why I was waiting all squeezed in this crack. Since I lost, it was really all for nothing. Whatever you won, so I guess I'll step aside. I mean I know it's team yell and all, but like I don't know. I just feel like by this point in a Pokemon game, I should be seeing trainers with three to four Pokemon at least in their team. And then like Victory Road level area should be like everybody. My god, the chairman has like a publicist and is like doing poses and stuff on posters. Alright, you two, you want to fight me? Oh no, you're just chilling out. Mr. Mime is a dancing Pokemon. Makes for a cheery member of our team. Pokemon move light screen. I'm aware of it. Oh, hello, Mr. Mime. Some kind of invisible wall. You can't get through no matter how you try. Well, maybe if I dazzle it with some dancing. I was trying to get to a plot so I could run by it. Um. Oh, okay. It's a re it's a run backwards and they ambush you now. What's this, a gym challenge I made it through? I just talked to you guys, you didn't realize? I mean, I guess it is Team Yell. All of us Team Yell members have blocked the way. Don't think we'll just let you waltz through. All right. Oh, why can't you guys do double battles? Come on, give me some fun, some challenge. The ability to destroy multiple view will be in a single shot. NBCs have said the reason people rarely have up ons is it's hard to level them all up, so people only have two to three because it's easier to train, or two to four because it's easier to train. I mean, it makes sense. Like, unless you're going for, like, becoming a champion, having a team of six would be kind of hard to manage and stuff. Like, I get that thematically and stuff, and, like, if I fought, like, a cook or something, but, like, if I fought a police officer, the police officer should have a team of six. Because otherwise you're just not doing a good job as a police officer. My problem is I'm a little bit on the over-leveled side. It was totally unbelievable. Even my Pokemon are in awe of you and your team. Here you go, though. Check out your neon signs while you're at it. I mean, they are some pretty cool neon signs. I can't read any of them, but... Catch you later, Mr. Mime. Wait, is that... Did that just turn on to point me forward? Oh, it's a G and an O for go. Okay. I like to just sit down on the bench. I'm just, like, I'm just chilling. Just in the middle of the gym challenge. Just taking a break. Oh, be careful with the Mr. Mime putting the period before, or not putting a space before the mime. But yeah, it's an, that is a non-Galarian Mr. Mime. I, I noticed that and I was like, huh, that's interesting. Oh, oh, jump down out of the window and challenge me, or battle me from upstairs. Guys, come on. I'm yelling for no reason. You guys did a... F okay, you, you kind of crashed in all the boxes there, but you did a flip out the window. That's so cool. I surprise you. I'm a little surprised how much my legs hurt from that landing. If I stand like this for too long, it'll hurt so bad I might cry. So I'll shake it off with a battle. Dude, for, as someone currently experiencing leg pain and back pain, I totally sympathize with you. But thank you for the battle. This is like one of those old school beat em ups. You go side to side and you have to beat up everyone before you can continue. I didn't even think of it like that, but yeah, no. This definitely is one of those, like a side scroll and beat em up. Oh, I thought they, they both ambushed me. Why don't I get a double? I just want a double battle. Double battles are fun and you never get them. All right, now Spirit Break is now 4x effective. Dark fighting type. You so silly.
She was like the old gym where you had to beat up everyone before the leader. I mean, that's... I mean, I've always just treated all gyms like you gotta kill everybody out before you beat the, you fight the leader. Well, it's true that I lost, but I pushed through the pain, so you can just praise me for that. I did praise you, like, that was fun, like, you know. Now that the pain's gone, I guess I better get out of here. Man, I am jealous of the fact that your pain's gone. That dude just... That dude over here just jumped out of the window for the hell of it. He's like, yeah, let's jump out of a window. Max revive. No other ambush or anything? Alright. Oh. Ambush time? Ambush time! HP of your Pokemon not looking so good. Practice back. Hands spring so much, even a pop star would be jealous. I was gonna say, like, I am very impressed with you both just doing some backflips and whatnot, jumping over. Like, I gotta admit, Team Yell has some skills. Are you surprised? Oi, be surprised, you. While you're in utter shock, I'm gonna sneakily win this battle. Please double battle me, maybe? Nope. Mm. Pressure's a little bit annoying on a uh, gym rush, but that's fine. I've got enough moves on all my stuff. Oh, Brick Break would have been 4x. I was just thinking, oh, it's a dark type. I can hit it with the fairy move. Going on day four, waiting for a new Outer Worlds video. I know, I really want to actually play more Outer Worlds this week. I just ended up having to take two days off of streaming this weekend because I'd streamed for 12 days at least straight. I might have streamed for more. So I was like, oh, I should probably cool it down and take a little day off or something so I don't burn out. <laughs> but no, I'll be getting back into Outer Worlds soon. got to be kidding. It's over already. Wah. All right. Seven grand for winning. Should've been practicing my battle skills, not my backflip skills. Thanks for showing me that. Guess I'll cheer you, up. cheer for you from now on. We've converted someone from Team Yell. Dude, that is some serious talent. Like, I mean, you did not waste the time learning how to do that. Because that's hell of intimidating if someone just backflips up to you for a battle. No trash can loot. So sad. How long does this alley go for? Team Yell takes the field. This might be a gym challenge, but I won't let you ruin our cool secret hangout. All right, time for the pincer attack. We'll do whatever it takes to win. Oh, hey. Is it time for double battle already? Ah, I didn't have time to get my disguise ready. That's right, Team Yell is actually made of spike with gym trainers. All right. So I kind of went into that back room, figuring it'd be the side path for loot, and it was just get around the boxes. You know, all right. I'm going to admit... I was wrong, but the, uh, I, I don't know if the guy on the left is the one who didn't get his disguise ready, so he didn't have the, like, face paint and stuff, but Team Yell actually looks considerably better with the face paint than without it. I said it, I thought I said, I thought I said it was, like, you know, really bad back when we met him near the, uh, opening ceremonies, but, you know, honestly, the face paint really does tie their outfit together. He doesn't even have his jacket on. He has the wrong pants. Such a weird design. Wait a second. Did it just say Team Yell? Hold on. Info. Yeah, Team... That was Gym Trainer Joshua and then Team Yell Grunt. Huh. Look at the guy's Y symbol. I can't see. He's so far away. Anyway, we got a Drapion, which is round and dark, and a Liopard, which is dark, so we'll Spirit Break. Oh no, this is Dark Poison, sorry. Not ground. I don't know why I was thinking that. Um, Alright, so let's destroy that. And then we'll Overdrive. Oh cool, Overdrive's a multi-target? That's great.
Holy crap, crit. I was not expecting that much of a wipeout. They still only have one Pokemon, but man, do I need to heal up after this fight. How's it going, Ren? Also, thank you. What is it? Z4 left? Zalef, maybe? Glad you enjoyed the content and all the years of smiles. Hopefully there'll be quite a few more years of content to go. Yep, Gym Trainer Joshua. Would have been better if you just lost to us. Did I lose to it as a member of Team Yell or was I beaten as a Gym Trainer? 15 grand? Score. Oh, the Y is in the wrong direction? That's great. <laughs> they put his shirt on inside out. Whatever, our gym leader's up next, but he's really strong. Got that? All right, cool. Everyone already knew the true identity of Team Yell, right? Uh, actually, I didn't. It means I won't get in trouble for not getting my disguise on, right? I sure hope so. So the whole Team Yell situation was basically the local gym trainers wanting to get behind one of their own to try and, you know, get some promotion for the town or something by getting them to win the gym challenge and, like, maybe breathing some life into the local economy or something. More or less. I feel like that's roughly what we're looking at for a plotline. Let's see, do we need to use this on anything? Eh, we've got a lot of uses of everything left. I don't think we're in too much trouble. Team Yell is not a villain team. I'm kind of sad about that, like... It's interesting not to have a... Oh my god, are we gonna get a double battle here? Marnie, shut your gob! Oh, Ghost. Uh, I'm really sorry. A lot, The lot from Spike Myth telling me they locked down the city for my sake. Spike Myth just keeps getting worse and worse, and all Pierce says is don't worry. So we decide to disguise ourselves as Team Yell and sabotage the other challengers. Oh. Wait, so is Team Yell only the disguised people, or is it just some fan base? We thought if we could stop the other gym challengers from reaching the gym, then Miss Marnie would be the only one to win and make it to the Champion Cup. Okay, you know, decently logical there, maybe? We figured we'd, that'd increase the chances of the wonderful Miss Marnie becoming the new champion. That's no way to help someone at all. Ghost, no need to bother with all the preparations or whatever. Go on in and face the gym leader. Alright. I'm gonna be giving Pierce my best yells during his battle with you. You do that. Miss Marnie's scoldings go on forever. Remember once she scolded her Morpeko for so long it practically fell asleep. Damn. And your Pierce just rocking away. His Pokemon chorus sounds pretty great too. Looking for a Pokemon trade? How about your Obstagoon for my Miss... My Cantonian Mr. Mime? I don't have an Obstagoon right now, but... It's good music. Oh, there's a cute little Toxel. Okay. 10 to 1 odds, this guy has at least a Toxapex. Because his hair looks exactly like a Toxapex tentacle. Uh, you're finally here, huh? See, I'm I'm really not a great gym leader. Figured that's why no one was coming to challenge me. Well, don't be depressed, dude. I have good ears, so I overheard the whole thing about the city being shut up. When I was alone, it was like my soul was weeping. This is a simple gym stadium. We can't even Dynamax your Pokemon. But, well, I still hope you enjoy the battle. Aww. I mean, it it's a... It's a nice gym arena, like, you know. I don't have to Dynamax. Now then. I'm the gym leader, Spike Myth Pierce, the dark type user. Ah, oh, shit, I thought you were going to be ghost type. Alright, well, Unk is not going to be as super useful against you, but uh, that's fine. 
You wanna challenge me even though you know you'll lose? Songs for you, foolish trainer. Ready for a mosh pit with me and my party. Spike Myth, it's time to rock. Challenged by Jim Leader Pierce. And he just makes you want to do air guitar. He's even got dusk balls with all of his Pokemon. That's that's a nice little touch. Now everyone, cheer on my Pokemon! Let's do it, Scrafty! Okay, well Scrafty unfortunately is uh gonna suffer a little bit of a pain here, because uh yeah, Spirit Bake is kinda quad effective. This is the guy who wasn't there when all the gym leaders gathered at the opening ceremony? Okay. I was like, I don't, I don't, I didn't recognize him. I don't fake out. I hate it so much. Finally made a dark type gym. Yeah. Unfortunately, Special is very, very good against dark types. So. Let's send out Obstagoon. No, I'm good. I've got a fighting type move for quad effective. I'm gonna say the remixes on this are really good. Time to meet another member of my crew. Face the proud, mighty roar of my Obstagoon. All right, now what did this Obstagoon? It had its ability was obstacle or something. Like it's going to mess with my stats every time it hits me or something. I can't remember. I'm super over leveled. A little bit, a little bit. But yeah, I have a 4x effective Brick Break. Obstruct, that's its move. Ah, to protect, that also lowers my stats. Yeah, that's what it is. Oof, harsh defense drop. Alright then. Oh, ow. Counter. That's... Ooh, the 3 HP survival. Um... Well, you can't counter a draining kiss. Oh, but it's speed tied me. All right. Well, that's going to make this a little bit trickier. All right. Um, It's a dark normal type. So... So we're throwing Scorch out. Wasn't speed tie? Oh, counter is negative priority. Okay. Well, I have a double kick. God, that that protect is insane. I don't think I have any move that goes through protect. Um, let me see. Do I have anybody who can hit through that? Like, do I have Infiltrator or anything? No, I don't have anything that gets through it. No, I don't want to switch Pokemon. I just want to hit him with a double kick. 4x effectiveness, so it should... No, he's going to be at red health, isn't he? Nope, he died. Good. Faint and Phantom Force. Okay. Yeah, Mr. Mime had Screen Cleaner, which only removes light screen and stuff. But send out Malamar. So that is Dark Poison. Let's get Crit in here. Can't have a rock battle without our sound Pokemon. Oh, I was going to mess you up with his contrary ability. Thank you for letting me know that, because I was about to acid spray boom burst, so I'm not going to use anything that can lower a move skill. Let's just get loud, then. Crank it up to 11. <laughs> one shot it. 
Gun tank. Yeah, so that is a 140 power base move. My move gives it another 30% power. And then I'm also wearing wise glasses, which give it another 10. Let's just do another boom burst. It's time for the final guitar solo. This thing is so overpowered. Holy crap. It's also maybe five levels overpowered, too. I'll come up to Earthquake. Uh, yes, please. That is way better than Bulldoze in every respect. All right. Now I think we have a pretty well-balanced final team. We've got, like, really good type coverage. Like, I haven't even been going out of my way, really, to, like, gain the extra experience. I mean, I have caught it quite a bit, but, like, I've just been fighting every trainer I see on the routes. Me and my team give it our best shot. Let's meet up for a battle again sometime. The 8th gym's ace is 48? Damn. Alright, then. Glad we were able to battle. Seems like my Pokemon feel the same way. Here's your dark badge. Do I want to know what I what I forgot? What did I forget? You now catch Pokemon to level 55. Sweet, I know where I'm going. And a uniform. Nice. Actually, think about it, just selling them at my concerts. Dark uniform. My little sis Marty's gonna challenge me next. I bet. It's actually kind of sweet. So you're watching, sis. You don't. You won't learn anything from seeing me lose. Just watching your battle, bro. It's how I learned all my how to battle and all that. Oh, it's so touching, sibling love. That's right. Reminds me, Marnie. There's something I wanted to tell you. Watch you take over the gym here in Spikemouth as its gym leader. <gasps> what? He's gonna go pursue his rock career, and so he's handing off the keys to the gym to his little sister. So adorable. Yeah, I know. You plan to retire after the Champion Cup, right? I think you'll really become a great gym leader, even if I you don't Dynamax your Pokemon. I love you, but my answer is a big fat no. Aww. I mean, when I end up becoming champion, I won't be able to be a gym leader. Hmm, good point. In that case, let your big bro see if you have the skill to be a champion. Hey, Jim. Hey, Ghost. Thanks for having an amazing Pokemon battle with my brother. My turn next, so clear off a bit. Can I watch? I totally want to watch a folk fight. You seriously beat Pierce? Here's a TM to remember this moment. Snarl. All right, it's an okay TM. The ghost gym is in shield. Ah, 